This is Konstantin Bobkin on Chinese TV three days after Russian President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. I hope there is no large-scale bloodshed and that after this difficult period, things will be healthier. Days before that, he tweeted his support of Putin's move to recognize Donetsk and Luhansk as independent. For years, Bobkin has been on the board of directors of Winnipeg-based tractor manufacturer Bueller Industries. In this Russian television video, Bobkin gives Putin a tour at Bueller's parent company in Russia. Putin makes a joke about working as a combine operator. But as of today, Bobkin is no longer on the board. Bueller has accepted his resignation to align the organization with the values of the Canadian-based leadership team. But Bobkin retains part ownership in the Russian parent company that owns Bueller. Also not yet on Canada's sanctions list, a much more recognizable name, Roman Abramovich. Best known as the billionaire owner of the Chelsea Football Club, Abramovich announced today he's selling it, the proceeds going to a foundation for the benefit of all victims of the war in Ukraine. In Canada, Abramovich owns 30 percent of Evraz Steel, one of Saskatchewan's biggest employers. He is incredibly close to Putin, like he is part of the very inner circle and how he has not ended up on, on the sanctions list yet is to me dumbfounding. This expert says even the threat of sanctions are putting pressure on Putin and those around him. They are deeply, deeply concerned. In fact, I think they're sweating bullets right now because they know that they could be next. Their assets could be targeted right here in Canada. Ottawa hasn't said yet if sanctions are coming to Abramovich or Bobkin, but it did say it's working with the international community to find targets of strategic importance to Russia. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.